Travis Barker almost lost his life in a plane crash. Hey guys, it's The Rich Life. I'm your host, Michaela, and today we are talking about Travis Barker, so let's jump right in. American musician Travis Landon Barker was born November 14th, 1975 in Fontana, California to parents Randy and Gloria. His father was a mechanic and his mom was a nanny. Travis is British, Irish, Italian, and American. Travis started drumming at the age of four and just after he started to learn drumming skills from the drummer Thomas Hogan, who showed him the different styles and rhythms. Aside from music, he liked surfing and skateboarding. However, Travis had said, quote, I always migrated back to drums though. That was the one direction that felt kind of like I was connected to and I kind of understand. I could express myself better through my drums than I could anything else. So he decided to master it. His mother was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease and the day before he started high school, she unfortunately passed away. But she told him to keep playing music and follow his dreams and so he did. Travis went to Fontana High School and while at high school, he joined the marching band which exposed him to regional competitions and festivals. In his last year of high school, he toured with his first band, which was called Feeble. After graduating from high school, Travis worked as a garbage man until he found a temporary place in the band The Aquabats in 1994. Eventually, he was recruited full-time by them and then left to join Blink-182 in 1998. The band made an album and three songs in that album titled What's My Age Again, All the Small Things, and Adam's Song. And they were huge hits. The song All the Small Things became number one on modern rock tracks and became number six on the Billboard Hot 100. Chart. After the major success of the album, the band went on to its first tour in the fall of 1999. That same year, the band appeared in the movie American Pie. The popularity and money helped Travis build a life for himself. Aside from playing for the band, Travis opened a retail store, and he started to offer lessons and set up a guitar center drum clinic. What's up? Today I'm going to show you guys a couple stretches and warm-up exercises I do because a bunch of you guys ask. The band sold out tons of shows during their worldwide tours. Within just three weeks, the album earned triple platinum status. After many years together, the band decided to take a break in 2005 after the band couldn't come to a decision regarding their future and recording sessions. After the breaking up of the band, he was part of the Transplant's new record called Haunted Cities. Then he collaborated with a newly formed band called the Plus 44. Now it's it's about to get a little dark. On September 19th, 2008, a Learjet 60 business jet crashed during takeoff from Columbia Metropolitan Airport in South Carolina. Four of the six people on the plane unfortunately did not make it. The survivors were Travis Barker and Adam Goldstein, aka DJ AM. Just before midnight, the plane headed for California and was going down the runway when the people on the plane heard a loud noise. The plane was leaving the airport when air traffic controllers saw sparks coming from the plane. The pilots told the control tower that a tire had blown out and that they would be canceling the takeoff. The pilots had lost control of the plane and hurtled through the fence of the airport, went across a highway and crashed. Travis said, quote, when everything stopped, I tried to get everyone I could. Travis and Adam escaped the plane and ran in circles on the highway, hearing people yell, stop, drop, and roll. Travis dropped to the ground and Adam helped him put out the fire on his feet. Travis said, quote, I was lying next to Am as the plane was exploding and I was screaming, are we alive? The two were very badly injured and were hospitalized for months. Travis has suffered burns over 65% of his body. Travis coincidentally has a fear of flying and he developed post-traumatic stress disorder from the crash. I hated flying, you know, from many, you know, from the first flight I ever took. I was what made things worse for him was he wasn't even supposed to be on the plane. Everything felt wrong, you know, like, really? yeah, like I called my pops. During Travis's time in the hospital, he was in so much pain that he was calling his friends and offering them $1 million to help him pass away. The plane crash led Travis to make some lifestyle changes. He started running and swimming every day and then went vegan after leaving the hospital. Travis also overcame a painkiller addiction he had for years prior to the plane crash. He said, quote, I didn't even take any pain medication after I got out of the hospital. They told me I'd be on some of the medication for the rest of my life, but I got off of all of them. Travis didn't fly again until 2021. He traveled by himself on his bus and by boat when he was touring Europe. Due to the accident, the band Blink-182 decided to put their differences aside and reunite. Blink-182 reappeared for the first time at the 2009 Grammy Awards. In 2011, the band came up with their sixth studio album called Neighborhoods. The new album hit number two on the Billboard 200 charts. Apart from working on his solo projects and working with Blink-182, he has collaborated with many other artists and bands. Music
music aside, he has a clothing and accessory company called Famous Stars and Straps, his own recording company called LaSalle Records, and a restaurant in California called Wahoo's Fish Taco. He also has his own line of drumming products. Travis first married Melissa Kennedy in September 2001. Their marriage lasted nine months until Travis filed for divorce in August 2002. He later married actress and Miss USA of 1995, Shannon Mochler, in October 2004. Travis and Shannon had two children, of which their son was born in 2003 and their daughter who was born in 2005. Travis is also close with his stepdaughter, from which Shanna had from her previous marriage. The whole family appeared in the reality TV series Meet the Barkers. <laughs> Sounds like I was making love. Which went on from 2005 to 2006. In August of 2006, Travis filed for a divorce from Shanna after about two years of marriage. Despite their pending divorce, reports surfaced in 2007 that the two were, quote, quietly trying to give it another go. In March 2007, Shanna told People Magazine that she and Travis were back together and did not finalize the divorce. People Magazine then later reported that they were now separated again. However, no reason was given for their separation. But the two were seen at the 2007 MTV Video Music Awards kissing and holding hands. However, in February 2008, the couple's divorce was finalized. They then tried to rekindle their relationship in early 2009, but then announced that they were no longer together on April 1st, 2009. On December 7th, 2014, the police were called to Travis and Shanna's home in Los Angeles after the two had a verbal altercation. Threats were made against one another, which led to both of them getting arrested. However, no charges were filed against either of them. In 2015, Travis very briefly dated singer and actress Rita Ora. In 2020, rumors surfaced that Travis and Courtney Carter Kardashian were together and then made it official in January 2021. During their relationship, Travis returned to flying after avoiding airplanes for 13 years. And then in October 2021, the two got engaged. They had an unofficial wedding in April of 2022 in Las Vegas. They then got officially married in May of 2022 in Santa Barbara, California, and then had a religious wedding ceremony in Italy on May 22nd, 2022. Travis Barker's net worth is estimated at $50 million. Travis has a $1 million car collection, including a $225,000 Mercedes G-Wagon and a $330,000 Rolls Royce. Travis's yearly salary is estimated to be more than $600,000 and he charges approximately $75,000 to $149,000 just for a feature in something. And if he has to speak, that price goes up even more. Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker have no shortage of homes between the two, but they recently added to their property portfolio last year when they bought a mansion in Palm Springs. The home reportedly costs $12 million and has six bedrooms with eight bathrooms. It has a golf course and a swimming pool, a guest house, and a courtyard with custom water features and a fire display. Well, that's everything for Travis Barker. Make sure to let us know in the comments who you want us to talk about next time, and I'll see you guys later.